Hey guys, welcome back. So I recently went for a beach vacation. It was a vacation that I took for my birthday. I really needed this getaway. And I thought while I was unpacking, I should show you everything that I carried with me um, in my skincare bag and also in my makeup bag. I thought it would be quite nice and I really hope you guys enjoy this. So let's just jump right into it. So here is my suitcase that I took and these two are so fat and thick that my suitcase almost like it could not close uh, just because of my skincare and my makeup pouch uh, but I managed so uh, these are the two bags that I took with me um, and this is full of skincare mainly and this is filled with makeup this is so heavy uh, this alone takes up like all of the weight in the bag and then this is the t-shirt that I got from UNICEF it's super dear um, this is something that I got from Amazon I've done like a full IGTV video on it and this is where I keep like my sandals and I also carried my Dyson air wrap I love this thing I only carried two extensions the blow dry one and the curling one okay but this is not an unboxing of my suitcase video um, it is uh, more about everything that I carried in my trip so this is everything that I carried for skincare I don't exactly remember um, where this bag is from it came in a PR package I am taking a while guess and I think this is from Clarence um, and yeah let's just pick everything from inside of it at random uh, the first thing that I have is my La Roche Posay Faclar Duo uh, this is the new one that I picked up from Paris and this has an SPF of 30 um, this is their brand new version of it and since I was going to be out in the Sun for a really long time so I got this and then I have Bioderma this is something that I absolutely love this is the CBM H2O one so it's meant for sensitive skin it's meant for acne prone skin and it also removes waterproof um, eye makeup and lipstick really well so I like to use this uh, first and then for cleansing oil I took this one from dear Claire's um, I just received this before I left for my vacation so I took it with me to try it and I quite like it it is really nice it's very very light and it like just removes everything it has like black currant seed oil um, it has black soybean oil and it's very gentle it barely has any fragrance in it um, and it did the job really really fabulously okay what else full size of my Kiehl's Calendula deep cleansing foaming face wash I really like it and I could not find a small bottle uh, to kind of carry this with me but this is something that absolutely cleanses my skin like no other and I did not want to break out when I was out on my trip so I took this with me then this is something that I have been trying out lately this is actually a cleansing mitt uh, from Dermalogica it came with their uh, cleansing uh, face wash uh, but I did not carry that one but I did carry this little mitt with me so you basically uh, put your finger through this and then you use this to cleanse your skin um, basically just exfoliates and scrubs your skin while you're using your face wash I don't use this daily as it feels like it could be really harsh but I did do it occasionally uh, with my face wash uh, then I have one of my favorite toners at the moment I'm almost done using it yeah you can see that it's almost over um, this is the pixie glow tonic this is the pixie glow tonic I really really like this it has 5% glycolic acid so it is quite exfoliating and um, it also really helps in giving your skin that nice glow and freshness to it of course I will not be traveling without my ANR I don't know why there is uh, a cotton pad stuck to it um, but of course I wouldn't be traveling without my ANR I love this I use this in the morning in the night and then really I really like this I don't know why I have two of them I had this in my carry-on bag 
and this in my makeup bag. Now I know why I have two. Uh, then my favorite, favorite serum for the night. This is the Kiehl's uh, Nightly Refining Micro Peel Concentrate. I use this in the night, three drops on my skin daily. Then I also have another serum from Kiehl's. This is this is their Hydro Plumping Retexturizing Serum Concentrate. I used this only on the days that I was traveling. Uh, so on days that I had like uh, flights where my skin gets really like dehydrated, um, the texture isn't the best, and it lacks luster. Uh, that those are the days that I use this. Not every day. It's really nice. Uh, very hydrating, very lightweight. I also carried uh, two perfumes. Uh, this is my Stay Lauder Modern News Me. And I have, a, I can't pronounce the name, but I'm going to write it down. Uh, I like to use this perfume in the day and I like using this in the night. A um, couple of random cotton pads that I needed for my toner. Um, I've got my toothpaste. Okay, this is my new favorite moisturizer. Um, this is the Embroilies Lay Cream Concentrate. I have recently started using this um, ever since I got it from Paris and it's quite nice. It is a little heavy for me on an everyday basis but um, when I'm traveling my skin gets very dehydrated and I also like using this as a primer before I do my makeup. And another serum that I am obsessed with at the moment is this one from Dear Claire's. They're pure vitamin C and Centella Asiatica Extract Hybrid Stabilization Technology. Let's just call it the Pure Vitamin C Serum. Um, I again recently received this and I really wanted to try it. I love the holo packaging that it came in. Um, as you can tell, I've used quite a bit of it. Um, I used this again in the day and night. I also have my makeup sponge here. This is from Romie Cosmetics. I really like it. It's their marshmallow sponge. That's about it. Uh, one of the things that I forgot to carry and I would should have carried with me while I was traveling was a spot treatment. Um, and I do get like acne. So I should have carried that. Uh, let's move on to the makeup. Let me just quickly clear out the skincare. Okay, so this is my makeup pouch. Uh, it is from Benefit Cosmetics and I like to call it my double decker pouch because it has two layers and a lot of space. Okay, so here is uh, one of my sunscreens that I took. Uh, this is from Aven and this is their um, very high protection emulsion. It has SPF of 50 plus it is very matte it's waterproof which is why i like to take it uh, to my beach vacations um i also got a new la roche posay deodorant when i was in paris uh, so i took this with me to try it's very nice very lightweight um and this is the waterproof eye makeup remover and i'm carrying this one along with my bioderma one because uh, this is the only one that helps me remove uh, my MAC mascara, which is extremely waterproof. Um, yeah, so this is like a backup makeup remover. I have my Laneige. I have my Laneige um, lip sleeping mask. Really, really love this. If you guys haven't tried this, then I don't know what you're waiting for. You need this in your life. One tub like this is going to last your lifetime. Um, then I carried my sample that i got um, this is the damn girl mascara from Too Faced and i'm actually thinking of buying a full size one of this because i really like it um have a couple of my brushes that really need a good wash um one of the lipsticks that i was carrying was this one from Fenty beauty uh this is their stana lipstick in the shade uncuffed it's a beautiful everyday sort of nude also carrying this one from Bobbi Brown. This is in this is in the shade called Juicy Date and it's a beautiful everyday sort of nude and it's not matte. I also carried um, a blue liner from Kiko that I never ended up using. Um, I tend to be very very um, adventurous in my way I pack but I never end up really using much of it. I also carried some extra um, contact lenses uh, just in case I lose one of them in the sea because it has happened with me 
In the past, I jumped off of a boat and my lens literally disappeared from my eyes. So I just carried like a backup. I also have my shoe Uemura eyelash color. I actually bought a new pair. Let me open this side. As you can tell, this bag like really fits a lot, like a lot, a lot. Um, I carried uh, this primer from Estee Lauder. Uh, this is called their Mattifier. They have three variants. Um, one illuminator, one one dewy one, and one called the mattifier. I obviously have very oily skin, so I use this one. Then I carry this to you know, even better glow foundation. Um, it is very lightweight, perfect for every day, and this is in the shade toasted wheat, which is my perfect shade when I am a little sun kissed, and it's just so nice for the beach. It's not too heavy. I also carried my Estee Lauder uh, Double Wear Foundation in this shade Cashew. I have to wait a little bit to, to use this again because I'm definitely uh, darker now but otherwise that's my perfect shade. But I knew I was going to get a tad bit darker so I carried this shade Bronze uh, but this is the Double Wear Nude Water Fresh so it's lighter than the Double Wear and it's just so nice to wear this formula when it's very hot and humid outside i also carried my nars radiant cream concealer this is in the shade ginger i freaking love this concealer it's just so beautiful my dior backstage um highlighter palette absolutely love this palette best thing i ever bought it's so stunning and i use this shade all over my face, on my eyes, everywhere. This uh, Too Faced Natural Face Palette, which is one of my favorite contour and blush palette at the moment. Let me open it for you guys. This is what the palette looks like. It has some amazing natural shades for the skin and it just sits so beautifully. It blends so well and most importantly, it smells delicious. Like me, absolutely not. And then Mineralized Skin Finish Powder. This is the Mineralized Skin Finish Powder in medium I like to use this uh, to set my concealer, which is right there, and just underneath my eyes. I've barely been powdering my face lately. I also carried um, this Alyssa Edwards uh, palette just in case I wanted to use eyeshadow. But guess what? I did not end up using any eyeshadow during my trip. I was mostly underwater. Um, I have some more brushes. I actually carried uh, the entire Nika Wonder Puff uh, range with me because I really wanted to try it. I had to do a video for it. So I did that while I was there. I really like them. Um, the lighter shades are quite sheer, um, but some of the darker ones have really nice pigmentation. My favorite shades are Shake It Off and Dizzy Bee. I also used this shade quite a bit. It's like this purplish pink and it's called Hustler. It's really nice. So yeah, I quite liked it. So, and I loved the fact that it was light enough to like carry all of the lipsticks. Uh, so those are in my makeup bag as well. Um, I also picked up a couple of uh, sample sized milk makeup when I was in Paris and I have used them quite a bit. This one is a blush and this is in the shade Work and it's a very very natural color. And then this one, if you have watched this makeup tutorial that is on my channel done by a makeup artist, Sneha used this on me for no makeup makeup look and something that I have been looking for for the longest time and this is in the shade Lit. It's their highlighter and it gives you this beautiful wet dewy finish that does not look like highlighter. It looks like your skin is like shining from within. I love this. I wish I found the bigger size. I really love that highlighter. I have another concealer with me. This is the Tarte Shape Tape. This is in the shade Medium Sand and I just carried this because I like to use a drop of this with my NARS um, to add a bit of a highlight underneath my eyes. Then I have two of the Huda Beauty Melted Shadows. I'm carrying the colors Shimmering Sunset and Silk Bomber. These two are so nice. Individually, you can like just wear an entire look with just 
like one melted shadow stick you have the matte shade and then you have the metallic shade on the other side and I love this one in general and this is the matte and metal melted shadows are so good individually I love love using them like just on their own you can do so much because of the matte shade and the shimmery shade and they are so long lasting they're waterproof they're so pigmented love these especially this one i think it's amazing for like an everyday use then we have two mascaras two of my favorite mascaras uh, this one is from mac this is the one that i was talking about when i was talking about the sephora remover so this is the up for everything lash and this is my holy grail mascara i freaking love that mascara and i also really really am a big fan of the maybelline total temptation mascara this is just so amazing for the price it's waterproof both of them are waterproof and they just work so well for my lashes and lastly i carried an eyeliner this is the fly liner from fenty beauty and this is their sample size i have the full size but i thought this would be better to travel with and uh, that's about it that's everything that i carried with me makeup wise can you tell that i overpack i really overpack but that was everything clearly i am an overpacker and even though i pack so much i always feel like i'm not packing enough um but over the years i've really learned to cut down on the things and only take essentials clearly i did not um but i hope this was helpful in a way you get to see a little bit of what i use when i'm in my vacations and that's it for this video please make sure you are subscribed i will try and find most of the products that are available online and link them in the description uh, just to make it easier for you guys in case you want the same thing or you wanted to try and uh, that's about it i will see you in my next video bye